What should we ask the tarot today? I have my Ask the Tarot Love and Abundance Edition Oracle deck that I designed myself. There is a link in the bio to several decks that I've designed and also for private readings. But in the meantime, what should we ask the tarot today? Who is coming in? This could be someone who is drawn to you energetically or this could be somebody coming in physically. Spirit, for the viewer, who is coming in? Who is coming in, either energetically or physically? Who is, who is drawn to them, please? Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Cups, we have the Empress, the Emperor, and the Ten of Swords. This is quite an easy story to tell. You are a pair, a divine feminine and a divine masculine. We see the vines on the body. This is talking about the growth that you have experienced together. These vines are pepper plants. Peppers can range from the sweetest up to the hottest and spiciest. There is no doubt that there is chemistry between you. On the Empress card we see the femur bone the strongest bone in the human body. And that is the intensity that you feel between you. We see the solidity of the lower part of the body, showing that this is grounded and rooted. And the upper body is exposed, showing warmth and vulnerability. In both cards, we see the lungs and the heart, the air that you breathe, and hearts that beat as one. You are both strong and powerful, and are bonded together. In a traditional deck, the Ten of Swords speaks of endings. I have spoken of this before, but we have just been through the 1010 portal, and tomorrow we have the new moon and full solar eclipse. The main themes for every star sign is that of changing timelines and of new beginnings. The bottom of the deck with the Four of Cups if we look at the illustration and the words thereon, it speaks of addictions. It is possible that both of you together are trying to end some sort of addiction. And this might not be limited to what we always think of as hard addictions. You may both be trying to improve your life, working on health. Let's find out a little more. Spirit for the viewer, who is coming in? Tell us a little bit more about the Emperor or the Empress, please. What do we need to know? Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Pentacles, the Six of Rods, the Ace of Cups, and the Temperance. The illustration on this deck is so beautiful for the Temperance card. To me, it has always meant that you touch one another's thoughts. You may be telepathic and be able to pick up on one another. You touch each other's minds and soul. And this is a card of balance and how you steady one another. The Ace of Cups, there is so much love between the both of you. It even says on the card, no one. There is no one else like you. You are their one and only, and vice versa. I had said earlier, two hearts that beat as one. With the Six of Rods, it speaks of success and victory. And we can see from this picture how you are bonded and knitted together. So I know botanically that these are not dandelions, but they have always reminded me of the yellow dandelion. And to me, dandelions have always been a symbol of resilience and wishes. The resilience because you can pick them and you can mow them down, but they always grow back. And wishes, of course, speak of when these turn to seed and you blow the dandelion clock, making your wishes. The Three of Pentacles is collaboration and overcoming obstacles. We see this obstacle in the middle and both of you mirroring one another, orbiting. So in conclusion, who is coming in? 
This is someone who is resilient and whom you have wished for. You are both each other's wishes come true. You are bonded and tied together. This is someone who has great love for you. And there is wholeness. And there is wholeness and balance between you. This could be someone who has overcome obstacles and addictions. And this is a divine counterpart with whom this relationship will continue to grow. Today will be the last day for a few days that I will be doing readings as I am leaving the UK and traveling back to Canada. So all readings will be closed from today until the 17th of October 